I've decided I'm going to dye my hair. <laughs> yep, uh, it, not in my head. No, no, actually I am. I, I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to dye my hair. Yeah, what, what colour are you going to go I with? don't know yet, but I'm going to go, I'm going to dye my hair because I don't know if you've noticed, I, I think maybe one or two you might have noticed, I've got a few grey hairs coming in, I think I'm going to dye. Yeah, get a little, little salt and pepper on top. No, no, it's pretty much salt. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> but salt, 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 salty salt, salt, salt. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta hide yeah, no, me. I'm like, you know, people are like, why is the white rabbit no longer on the show? Because I am, in fact, the white rabbit myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided to dye my hair uh, colour. So what I'd like you to do is to send in suggestions, and then I can ignore them. <laughs> no, I was thinking of going, uh, you know that thing where you comb it through? In your beard? What's that called? Well, yeah, it's uh, that. Uh, uh, the Mitt that Romney. Man, Mitt yeah, Rom that Mitt Romney thing. Yeah, Mitt Romney. Yeah, yeah. you put the Mitt Romney. You get Mitt Romney, and then you just leave the little sharky, but uh, like like the guy in the Sopranos. Hey, what's up? Hey, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll have this. I'll have the. the I know why. What? Do you remember the Starsky and Hutch car? Oh yeah. I'll have that, but in white, like at the side of my head, <laughs> like that, and then just like whoa, like Dracula at the front. I'll be Dracula and Hutch. <laughs> That would be a great show, Dracula and Hutch. That's a great idea. Right, yeah. one of them's a vampire and the other one's a cop. Yeah, yeah, you, you be Dracula. Okay, and you be Hutch. Be Hutch, yeah. All right, uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah. I think there's been a murder. <laughs> oh, you know, for a partner, you really suck. Wait, wait, you only did that so you could say that suck thing. Yeah, 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 that's, that was... Ah, oh, man, you yeah. set me up for your joke. Yeah, yeah, I've used you. <laughs> There'll be no more of that when I've got my side things of hair. <laughs> People will respect me then. Sponsored by Intermezzo. Sulfidum Tartrate. Talk to your doctor to learn more. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. for the cheering, they're, st they're stopped. Uh, that, was, that was quick. Yeah, they stopped very, pretty quickly. When I went like that, they kind of realized that it was going too long and <laughs> the folks at home would realize it was all a setup. <laughs> it's true, we faked it. We actually all know each other. We all live in the same apartment. <laughs> I'm the neat one. <laughs> hey, do you know what I haven't said in ages? What's that? Cheeky monkeys. You know when I say, oh, cheeky monkeys? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to do it tonight, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for old time's sake. All right, Come on, man. Man. Oh, hey, cheeky monkeys. There. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> When I say that cheeky monkeys things, it's it's kind of redundant because all monkeys are kind of cheeky, aren't they? That's I mean, true. it's not like you get sullen monkeys that are kind of like, ooh. <laughs> or maybe you do. Do you get sullen monkeys? Hey, sullen monkeys! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. Sullen monkeys, cheeky monkeys, uh, frisky ponies, uh, 
<laughs> Sarcastic Hedgehogs, I think was one. Was that, that was that was our band, Sarcastic Hedgehogs. Sarcastic Hedgehogs, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, listen, sorry. Uh, look, uh, I've got to say, of course, before we begin tonight, uh, people from all around the world will be paying uh, respects to Hugo Chavez, the former president of Venezuela. <laughs> 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 Little sarcastic up there. Anyway, I'm going to keep this tone for a while. Uh, former president of Venezuela who died yesterday, President Obama said he, the United Sport, uh, States, supports... He said it better than this, I've got to be honest. He said the United States supports the Venezuelan people. The actor Sean Penn said, I lost a friend. And uh, Honey Boo Boo said, hold on. <laughs> Sean Penn actually went down to Venezuela and met Chavez a few times. He's a very polarizing figure. A lot of Americans really don't like. Chavez was too. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah. See what I did? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Hugo Chavez, of course, is very controversial. You hear different opinions about his policies. But as for me, I believe what you believe at home. <laughs> In order to not get your <laughs> tweets and emails about how I'm wrong. Because honestly, I don't really give a. <laughs> of course, you know. <laughs> Unless you do. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I think I was just enjoying smelling my own breath. I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of candy before I came out, and I was like, ah. Do you remember I, I had that dream about Celine Dion? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had this dream about Celine Dion once, and uh, just the candy, I, rem I remembered it, because I had this dream that Celine Dion was drunk. She wasn't. I've never seen her drunk. I've never seen her. But, uh, <laughs> but I had this dream that Celine Dion was drunk, and she came up to me and said, I've had a little too much candy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Today, though, Hugo Chavez is being mourned all over South America. If he, were, uh, if he were still here today, I'm sure he would say, don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo Chavez famously called George W. Bush the devil. Remember that? He said he was El Diablo, the devil. And Cheney was like, whoa, what am I, chopped liver? What am I? The people of Venezuela aren't sure uh, who's going to replace Hugo Chavez. CBS have already suggested Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Doing better than everybody thought, really, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. I have to admit, though, I don't know much about Venezuela. I've never been to Venezuela. I've never actually been to South America at all. I, and I'd like to go. I hear it's a fantastic place. Do we have a map by any chance? There you are, Brazil, Venezuela. <laughs> Now, as you can see from the very accurate map there, uh, Brazil takes up half the space of the South America, almost. It's a, they're like Texas, but with more exposed butt cheeks. Can I see that map again? Now, why does that map not include Lake Titicaca? No? Lake Titicaca is on the border between Peru and Bolivia. You can get to Lake Titicaca by motorboat. <laughs> what was it? With the motorboat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> what would that motorboat sound like, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's more, that's more of a horse. The motorboat kind of goes more like... <laughs> What are you going to do, pixelate my face? What? Oh, yeah, can you do it? Can you do it? There you are. Anyway, South America uh, was, of course, the birthplace of the Incan, the Incan, the Incan, the Incan civilization, not the Incan civilization, the Incan civilization. The Incans are sort of like the Mayans, except they didn't go around falsely predicting the end of the world. <laughs> Although, to be fair to the Mayans, they did say, we didn't say that. <laughs> anyway, the, the Incans uh, built Machu Picchu in the mountains of Peru. Do we have a picture of Machu Picchu? There it is there, right. Uh, yeah, you get there by motorboat as well, probably. They, uh... <laughs> but for years, Machu Picchu was thriving. It was the envy of all others. Now it's nothing more than a ghostly ruin. It was the 15th century NBC. <laughs> Applaud. Don't applaud. Just let me savor the schadenfreude. 
Do you remember that was a, an early Kraftwerk album, wasn't it? Yeah, Savor the Schadenfreude. Saving the Schadenfreude. Savor the Schadenfreude. <laughs> we must save them the Schadenfreude. <laughs> I'd like to visit Peru, but they eat guinea pig there. It's one of the national delicacies. I could never eat a guinea pig. Could you eat a guinea pig? Oh, yeah, sure would. No, no. I couldn't eat a guinea pig. It would be like eating one of my ferrets, which I swore I would never do again. I'm sorry, Mr. Tickles. Goodbye. You were delicious. I didn't eat my guinea pig or ferret. I don't even have ferrets. That's not a real horse, and that's a guy around there. <laughs> uh, other South American countries, Bolivia, Colombia, I've enjoyed their products, and, and by that, of course, I mean cocaine. Not tonight, I didn't have any tonight, I had a little bit of chocolate before I came out. <sighs> smelling, your, smelling your hand, are you? Yeah, yeah. It smells like candy. <laughs> No, oh, stop yeah. it, man. Do you know when I think of uh, South America, though, I think of the Argentina World Cup soccer championships of 1978. I know, I know you're sick of hearing about the 1978 World Cup, but to me, it was a very big deal. I was 16 years old at the time, and Scotland made it to the World Cup, and that didn't happen that often, and I got really, really drunk, and that did happen quite a lot. And there was a game in Argentina, and I watched it uh, on live TV. The Scottish player, Archie Gemmell, is a great Scottish player. Uh, he scored a winning goal against the Netherlands, considered to be one of the greatest World Cup goals ever. A goal so great, I actually remember it. <laughs> and I don't remember the 80s. <laughs> Do you have that Archie Gemmel goal? Show it there. All right, show it. Need help. And we'll get it now from Gemmel. Gemmel could go all the way, and he's out here. Yes! Beautiful goal! If you don't think that's a fantastic goal, go and join Al-Qaeda. On you go. <laughs> that goal was one of Scotland's proudest moments, right up there when they got electricity. <laughs> August the 15th, 1995. It's a joke! It's a joke! But he was a huge celebrity, Archie Gemmell, after that. He was awarded Scotland's highest honour, a small patch of Sean Connery's chest hair. <laughs> don't worry, more will grow in a minute. <laughs> Do you remember that World Cup? Oh, I do. I was there. That was... Uh, that was. You were there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was... Uh, was that back in the days when you were... I was coked out of my mind. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. You want to... Uh... Yeah, I'll get you out of here. Bro. Okay, come on. More Late Late Show with the Minister of Motorboats and his pal Chop Liver after this. are kind of so excited we're so excited and you know why because they saw a clip of the scotland team losing in the world cup 1978 they're like wow what a treat for us and i was thinking you know and cbs are like why are you showing old clips of scottish soccer games and i'm like my show you made a deal uh, i want to show a clip but that clip has no comic value i don't either <laughs> You're in charge, man. I'm this in is, charge. Yeah. Uh, I'm the captain of my own ship. I am the master of my own debate. <laughs> the, the minister of motorboats. I am. Um, that's right. If, if, if there's a motorboat going on, I'm in there getting it done. That's right. <laughs> you know, I, Secretary, I wish you wouldn't do that motorboat thing that you're doing. Don't do that. It looks like you're doing lines of coke off the top. <laughs> Do it again, look, do it again. <laughs> See? <laughs> that we gotta get that we gotta get that horse in yeah, the rehab. What the hell? You gotta you're gonna you're gonna rehab, mister! Yeah, yeah you are! This is an intervention, we're very concerned. <laughs> This is, 
he's, he's got to have tough love. <laughs> You've got to have tough love, mister. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nor a real... Hey, caramba. Nor. <laughs> I think we all need to just take a moment and remember that. Yeah, man. All right, that's enough. Uh, so, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's Street Mail Time, brought to you by Boom Ball, Banana Kick, and Dribbling, the official World Cup team and law firm of the Late Late Show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't want to be uh, unsupportive or anything. That was pretty weak, though. Those were, uh, huh? was, that was gold, man. No, man, that was, that was pretty Those weak. Those were World I, I, Cup I, terms, man. No, no, don't don't mock the Scottish soccer team of 1978. Look, man, if you're gonna play outdated don't call clips me to man. these how people, dare you? how dare you? How dare you? I bid you adieu. Uh, all right, you ready to do the tweet and email? Yeah, why not? All right. <laughs> you, want to, you want me to do it again? Will we do a takeover? Nah, nah, no, no, it's fine. We'll just yeah, do all right, no, it's fine. Okay, sure. What, what the hell, man? You want to play a clip from our show from eight years ago? <laughs> Does that count as a rerun, or do I get paid? <laughs> if that works, I'm going to show clips of... Hey, we should do clips of when I did Cheeky Monkeys. Yeah, let's do a clip show, oh, Let's man. pretend it's eight years ago, okay, yeah. and it's the first show. Okay, Nine yeah. years ago. All right. all right, first of all, you weren't here, right. so shut up. Okay. <laughs> and neither were you, so you shut up, too. And now, we'll see how awesome the show was when it was just me. <laughs> Hello, everyone, Cheeky Monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, all right, so, um, uh, oh, yeah, the tweet and email jingle. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tweet and email time again. Uh, this is from uh, Jacob in Mount Laurel in New Jersey, uh, and uh, he's uh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> this is from Mika in Smithtown, New York. Now, I've been to Smithtown. They've got a giant bull in the middle of the town there, a big giant uh, statue of a bull, you know? Yeah, big bull. Yeah. yeah. And that's uh, one from him there as well. Uh, this is from Sandy in Akron, Ohio. No, Akron where it is where it all began. Oh, yeah. The, t the, the tire factories of Akron. That's it, man. That, there used to be three tire factories there. Three, three of them. <laughs> <laughs> the horse just shrugged at me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, Sandy in Akron says, Dear Craig and Jeff, would you ask Secretariat where he thinks my parents should get me a horse for my birthday? Uh, should should uh, should her parents get her a horse for her birthday? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I get you guys mixed up. You look so similar. <laughs> this is from Margie in... Oh, what did you say? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, Margie in San Simeon in California. Uh, that's where Hearst Castle is, isn't it? In San, San Simeon. San Simeon. That's where uh, William Randolph Hearst, he, he, had a, he built a castle up there. He was very wealthy. He was the Ryan Seacrest of his day. And... Uh, <laughs> And he built a big castle, and then in uh, in uh, the, in Hollywood here, he built another giant castle, which is now the headquarters of Scientologists, but used to be, it is. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say headquarters. That sounds sinister, doesn't it? <laughs> no. No, no. Anyway, it's it's like the big celebrity center there for the Scientologists. It used to be his mistress's house. His mistress, when William Randolph, and it was his mistress's house. And then I was thinking, wouldn't you just, like, put up a small bungalow or something? <laughs> it's very hard to keep an affair secret if you build a woman a Brogan. castle in the middle of town. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of mistresses. That's a, that's a lot of mistresses. Oh, did, did they all? No, I think it was just it was Marion, Marion, uh, Marion Ross who played Mrs. Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... Anyway, she, she wrote uh, into us as well. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, geez, we've run out of time and we've got all these to do. What we do? Quickly, there's no time. There's Read no the time. tweets. Quickly. There's no time. All right. This is from Alicia in Silver City in New Mexico. Dear Craig. Uh, right. Uh, this, is from, this is from David in Arlington, Texas. Dear Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Pearson. This is from Jay in South Philly. Yo, Craig. Oh, yo, really? <laughs> This is from Andris and uh, Jelgava in Latvia. A lot of Latvian stuff coming yeah. in. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're very big in Latvia. Uh, <laughs> dear Craig and Jeff, just so as you know, we all really appreciate you bringing attention to the wonderful country of Latvia. Thank you. <laughs> Donata. <laughs> this is Matt uh, from Matt in Melbourne, Australia. What's up, players? Do you ever get player haters in the clubs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and finally, this is from William in Illinois. Finally, look at that. Oh, look at yeah. that. Thanks, William. <laughs> William says, uh, Craig, does the world revolve around who has the best hair? Because it seems like it. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Any Von Trapp moron who's got anything to say comes on TV when I... You don't even have to be from America. <laughs> Come on TV with some gray hair and just say whatever the uh -oh you want. <laughs> Tonight, uh, oh, oh no, we don't say guest anymore, do we? We yeah, say no, friend. Say, yeah, who's your friend, Craig? Ask me who my friend is, Jeff. Who's your friend? I'll tell you, my new friend <laughs> is in a new film. It's called Ginger and Rosa, which is in theaters March the 15th. Please welcome my new friend. <laughs> who's your friend? Christina Hendricks, everyone. Finally, you look sensational, may I say. Well, thank you. No, you yeah. look great. I love your dress and everything else. <laughs> thank you. No, you... Hey, I was thinking... Of, it, I hope you don't mind this. I, I was thinking of dyeing my hair. Uh-huh. And I was thinking of going red. Mm-hmm. Is that your natural hair color? No, I, I'm actually almost exactly your No color. way. Yeah. You don't have gray hair. <laughs> You know, I've, it's been red so long, I don't, I'm not sure what's happening under there, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a few have white you, hairs coming in at this point. Have you, have you taken on the qualities of red-haired people? Are you uh, cautious with money? And, uh... <laughs> it's a joke, relax! I did, I, you know, I, I was uh, doing a photo shoot the other day, and they said, you know, we really want it to be really natural and show her freckles, and I was like, oh, I don't, I'm not no, a real don't red freckle, I freckles, don't have freckles. No. <laughs> freckles are where no. No. Freckles are where red-haired people store the souls of their victims. <laughs> Joe! Well then I wish I had them. No. I wish do I you had play them. someone red-haired in this film? I do. Good. But Good. but but the ginger that you hear is actually Elle Fanning's character who she's red in the film and she plays my daughter. She's called Ginger? So, she's called Ginger. They call people gingers who have got red hair in the old country. Where I'm from, you go, Oh, it's a ginger. Look, he's a ginger. Or just a <laughs> just a ginge. A ginge, yeah. yeah. And then then they rhyme it with another word and they, uh, Yeah. Uh, it's usually sort of derogatory, right? It's not. It's, it's it's kind of joking derogatory. It's not really derogatory. It's kind of a, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever spent any time over there? I have. Well, we shot this film there, um, but I also lived um, in London for about a year. Really? Which yeah. part of London? I lived in Islington. I lived in Islington. I didn't see you. <laughs> and I was looking for you. <laughs> Really? Where were you in 96? That's when I was... No, 96 I came here. Oh, no, no, I was in Islington why. just before that, though. I used to live up at the at Cloudsley Road, just up at the top. Uh, which part? Cloudsley Road, near the Upper Street, round the corner. Yeah, you were in the nice part. <laughs> I was... I lived right next to the women's prison. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holloway Women's Prison. It's yeah, exactly yeah. it. In yeah. fact, I was, when we were shooting this film, I was in London, and, and, and so many things have changed since I've lived there, and I didn't recognize. And then all of a sudden, we were going into this very shady sort of part of town, and I saw a prison. I was like, this is my neighborhood. <laughs> this is my neighborhood. This is home. Whenever I see a prison, I think this is my neighborhood. <laughs> Nice. Have you traveled around Europe a lot? Have you done the European thing? Um, a little bit. I wish I could do more. Uh, you know, I've, I've done the larger cities and things, you know, Paris and, and yeah, Milan yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Well, as as you do. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. You can if you want. <laughs> what about uh, South America? You ever been there? I have never been. No, and I'm no, dying not a vibe. Would you eat guinea pig? <laughs> yeah. Really? Sure. Are you an adventurous eater? I don't know if I would eat guinea pig. They serve it like this. <laughs> I think I, I think I would still do it. Really? I, th I think I would draw the line on a nutria. Do you know the nutria? No. Oh, you're gonna want to look this up. Yeah, I am. <laughs> this is an animal that is is rampant in Louisiana, and and there's so many of them. It's like a cross between a beaver and a rat. And the okay. teeth are like speaking of like eh, it's like ah. It's, it sounds it sounds like a guinea pig to me so far. It's the, like a like a larger, nastier, scarier horror film version of a guinea pig. Really? And the, uh, uh, how do you know about this? Well, my sister-in-law is from New Orleans, and I went to New Orleans, and she said I love that New Orleans. there was a time that um, they were trying to manage these these critters, and so they were asking all the great chefs like Paul Prudhomme and 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 Emeril and stuff like, can you cook up the Bam. nutria? Bam! Guinea pig, right? <laughs> cook it up to like get rid of these and stuff, and people were just like, I'm not gonna and put they that in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Let it go by, man. Let it go by. <laughs> so, um, well, uh, New Orleans, though, I love New Orleans. They eat a lot of weird mopeds down there, though. They eat the frog's legs and the... Have you ever eaten frog's legs? I, I, ha I haven't. I had, I've had uh, alligator, and alligator. I would think it would be a similar texture. I don't know. I lifted up the frog's legs to try it, and then I couldn't do it, because they don't just have the legs, it's the whole pants. <laughs> So it's like from the way it's not just a it's a frog from the waist down. So you know. I would think I would think that you would need because it would be so insignificant. You'd be. Well, I think they're quite. Like they're, they're, they make them do squats. That's the cruel <laughs> part. Of it. Yeah. They make them do squats and yeah. then they. Uh, but it's always oh, ghastly business. But to me, the the cuisine in New Orleans is. Oh the man, best I put on weight when I was there. Oh, oh you can't wow. you can't help it. It's the best food I've ever had in my life. What was that steakhouse that we went to? Yeah, that place, it was fantastic. <laughs> no, it was really, really good. So your sister lives down there? Uh, it, my my sister-in-law. Oh, right. Her family is from there. All right. Are they yeah. uh, weird? No, they're lovely. They're lovely. People are pretty weird down there. <laughs> no, I think I think they are genuinely, it's a little strange. I think the veil between, you know, this world and the next is pretty thin in uh, New Orleans. Well, I think New Orleans, unlike most American cities, really is its own thing. They have their yeah. own cuisine, their own architecture, their own music. Their own language. Yeah. You know, they it's got that. It's like a very, very special and unique place. They like, got that French kind of honey boo boo thing going on. Yeah. Okay. Sexy. Oh, you do, you honey boo boo. It's weird. And all the voodoo. Yeah. And, yeah. What about music? Do you like the music? Do you enjoy jazz? I love jazz. Do you play a I musical instrument? I like a little zydeco even. Um, I do. I, I kind of do. I, I play a little bit of accordion. Accordion? I know. Which So I could go down there and jump into a band right away if I... How the hell does that work, accordion? How the... <laughs> That's you not going to be the easiest instrument in the world for you to play, is what I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot of... Yeah. It's, well, it's heavy. It's, I'm oh, just saying. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm just saying. I get it. No. I get it. I'm, I, listen, I'm in no way I complaining or casting any kind of aspersions. I'm just saying it's a, you know. Well, technically, it is a very difficult instrument. I know it is. My, my friend Drew Carey plays the accordion, and he tried to show me how to play. It's very difficult. I said, you'll have to play with your own organ, Drew. I can't do it. <laughs> It is very difficult. It is difficult. Yeah. Um, and I'm not that good at it, but I'm but I'm slowly learning. Could I watch you? <laughs> I wish I had something clever to say. <laughs> I think that every night of the week, if it's any consolation to you. Anyway, don't worry, we're out of time. Do you uh, um, you want a Thanks. mouth organ, awkward pause? You want to throw frisbees at the horse? Oh, what was the first option? Mouth organ. Yeah. You want to play the mouth organ? Yeah. You, you can play the mouth organ. I'm... no. <laughs> yes, you can. Here. You'll be fine. Just, uh... 
Oh, a freshie. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call them? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call them in New Orleans, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you got a little old old freshie down there. <laughs> All right, what do you want to play? <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> Christina Hendricks, everybody, we'll be right back. Ask me who my next new friend is. Who's your next new friend, Craig? I'll tell you, Jeff. She's a best-selling author. Her latest book, The Power Trip, is on my desk. <laughs> Wait there. Her latest book, The Power Trip, is in stores now. Please welcome the lovely Jackie Collins, everybody. Jackie, how lovely to see you. How you look glamorous you. as always. I love your earrings and your sparkly jacket. Thank you. I, I wore sparkly for you. I like a bit of sparkle. Because I know you like a bit of sparkle. I do. Do you, do you have a sparkly jock strap? Somebody told me you did. A sparkly jock strap? Yeah. If you write one in for me, I'll have it. <laughs> Hey, I haven't yes. got around to this one yet because, as you know, I right. do read your book. I know you do. Uh, I but I haven't got around to this one yet. You're on it, though, look. I'm on it. I'm yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. Now, does this contain sexiness? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, a lot. And a lot. A lot and a little. Uh, you know what I was thinking? The, what? the Fifty Shades of Grey book that went crazy, right? Yeah. And, like, you've been writing stuff that dirty for years. I know. Uh, I know. Here's the thing. My heroines kick ass. Right. And that's what women should do, shouldn't they? Yeah. Why? You have a lovely audience. This is the new studio. I haven't been in yeah, the no, new studio. Yeah, no, they're absolutely marvelous. Some of the best, yes. pe finest Americans in the world. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, no, you're not in this, but there are characters that you could play. But I was in the last one. You made me... What yes. was the name of my character? Don Santana. Don Verona. Don Verona, that's yes. right. I was Don Verona. A if you were wondering... A sexy talk yes. show host. Yeah. A sexy talk show host who flirted with all his guests. Yeah. Because I watch you with all these beautiful young women that yeah. come on. Yeah. You, you have the best time, don't I you? I do. I'm a dirty old man. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they come out and they're like, oh, my film. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, tell me about your film. Yes, but I have to, I have to bring that character back. Back. But I was thinking if I make a movie of this that you could play several of the roles. Oh, really? What could I be then? There's a 50-something movie star who never wants to get married with a 22-year-old ex-waitress girlfriend. I love it! Let's yes. do that! Could you do that? He's American. No, oh, well, I could try. He was the sexiest man alive on People magazine. Uh, you, you were wandering off course now. Never guess who it was. Well, you could play the, the black footballer. You could. I'd say that's a reach, yeah. I think. English. He's English. He's English. Yeah, he may be English, but yes. he is black, and that's going to be a problem. What about <laughs> the corrupt senator? Oh, yes. Now, there yes. you are. That's there perfect for me. He'd make a perfect. great corrupt yeah. senator. Are, are yeah. there senators that are not corrupt? Is you that kind of like... Play. Hmm? You could play one of the pirates, because there's all these rich people on a yacht, and they get pirated by Somali pirates. You would be a great chief pirate. I don't look that Somalian. I... I mean... <laughs> But I can't do the pirate thing. I can do the kind of hire. No, 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 no. They're modern pirates. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the Russian billionaire? Yeah, I'll be the Russian billionaire. The Russian That's billionaire. Right. Yeah. You've you got them all in here. But there's there's no room for there. a story. It's, it's just a list of people. I know. I, there's no story. Just a list of people on this fantastic I've, yacht. Is that, did you write it on a yacht? Is that what you did? You know, I was on a yacht. I was on this billionaire's yacht, and we were going from Sardinia to the south of France. As you do. As you do. Yeah. Right? And in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, hmm, I'm going to go up and see what's going on. And I went up to talk to the captain and I said, where are we? And he said, well, we're in the middle of clear water, five hours out. And I went, okay. And I'm thinking to myself, what if we were pirated? Because it could happen, you know. They're really? Yeah, I don't like they have pirates in the Mediterranean. These oh, things. yes, they do. They do? Oh, yes. I'm not yes, going. Yes. I'm Robbery. not going. No. <laughs> I suggest that the next billionaire who invites you on a yacht, you say no. Yeah, it doesn't really happen. Larry King asked me to go for breakfast once. You and I, I, I need to talk to you about you and Larry King. I you, love you Larry. You are like an absolute double act. I watched you on Kathy's show, and I was on the floor. It was so funny. I love Larry. Yeah. He's awesome. You know Larry, don't well, you? Of course. I'm yeah, I know him He's fantastic. You know, he, uh, he used to live in uh, Miami. I found that out last night. Well, I, oh, really? No, I know that all the time. He always says, uh, <laughs> you know, when I started out in Miami, I'm like, you say this every time you're here. I'm 
met him in Washington very many years ago. I was on his radio show. Right. And it was a very late at night radio show, and he would go to sleep. People would phone in and they'd ask questions. Larry would be fast asleep. And when it came time for the answer, go, yeah. And he'd like wake up every time. It was like amazing. So he Did called you up. Date Larry? No, 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 no. I am not. I am not Katie Couric. Yeah, yes, yeah. Because he, he had that, that supposedly there's a thing that he and Katie Couric had a thing going I know. on in Washington. I heard all about that. Yeah, I think it was one of the rare occasions he was single at the time. And I think he's that. He's been married many times, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's been married a few times. Yeah. Like, I think 49. 49 times. Yeah. yeah. Well, he has a beautiful wife now. Yeah, she's lovely. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's the one that's but lasted you, you, longer than the rest. But you're a good double act. It's, it works. Me and Larry? Yes. Yeah, I know. I think it Although I like you and Don Rickles, too. You're good together. Oh, I, do you know Rickles? I know him very well. Oh, I love Rickles. In fact, I'm taking him to dinner this week. Really? I love Make Rickles. sure he pays. He is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no. so funny, because I said, what restaurant do you want to go to? And he goes, it's our night. I went, okay. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Obviously, he's never picked up the bill for you. <laughs> no, I think he does. No, he does. Uh, he's very generous, Don Rickles. It's Regis I'm thinking of. He never picks up the bill. Oh, no, no, no. Never, never. No, never. It's a, he's pathological. I mean, he's like, oh, I gotta go. And boom, out the restaurant. <laughs> Or it's always the time they go to the men's room, right? Right, right. They go to the, the, it used to be, you know, uh, back in the old days, men would go to the restroom for cocaine. Exactly. Now they just... Now, have you ever taken Viagra? No, no, never needed it. You no. never needed it? No, no I, I think I I'm probably did need it back when I was drinking, but, you know, when I stopped drinking, that problem kind of went away. Yeah, so, but, yeah. But, 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 but you wouldn't need it then because you wouldn't know. No, no, I, I never, I've never had the, uh, had the, I, thank goodness, you know, but what, knock what, on What, what do you think about... <laughs> About these ads that you see when guys take Viagra and, and they go, well, if you're still hard after four hours, go to the doctor. I mean, what would you do? I'd go to a club. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect answer. Yeah. Perfect answer. Yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's like it's helped a lot of people. It's fine. It's a kind of a cool thing. I mean, have you... Is there a lady Viagra? I don't know, but I think there is. There's bound to be I something. Mean, if, you, if, you know. you, if you can't do it without props, then why do it? Well, it's not necessarily a prop. It's just kind of like a vitamin for your junk. Oh. <laughs> He's taken it. He's definitely taken it. I have not taken it. I swear to God. No, I tell you, I would tell you if I'd taken it. I'm not in any way sexually embarrassed by stuff like that. Look, I talked about, you know, peeing and pooing myself when I was drinking. I'm not going to be worried about it. You know, one of, the, one of my favorite things that you said when I was on the show last time was when you talked about your junk, you called them uh, Sly and the Family Stones. <laughs> Don't you love that? Great description. Yeah, Sly well, and the Family Stones. So whenever I hear them, I always think of you. <laughs> Well, it's lovely to see you again. The Power Trip, thank you, Collins. We were right back. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? I'm reading Jackie Collins' book to Jeff. We're on chapter four, Dateline Los Angeles. Ooh. All right, ready? Yeah. Being the girlfriend of a huge movie star did not sit well with Laurie Walsh's ego. Oh, yes, in one respect, it was all strawberries and cream. <laughs> her name was out there. People were nice to her, important people. All the magazines featured photos of her frolicking on the beach in Malibu, just like you. <laughs> I can't read out this bit. There's a penis in it. <laughs> who would uh, who would you be in a Jackie Collins book? Would you be the pirate or the skeleton with a creepy past? I'd be the pirate. <laughs> I'm looking for these books are real pot boilers, you know. Pop and by pot boilers, I mean uh, you know testicle stimulators. A testicle stimulator, yes. Yeah, that's what pot boilers means in French. Uh, is that kind of like a freshie? <laughs> Do you think that's a slang word for a gentleman's excited uh, moment? <laughs> I know what it's called after he's excited. What? A sullen monkey. <laughs> On that upbeat and classy note, we bid you adieu. Adieu!